All right, in the spotlight tonight, this week on 3 News, we have been honoring black artists with ties to Cleveland, whose influence is displayed in museums, on the stage, and the Rock Hall, too. Tonight, we honor the legacy of a Northeast Ohio painter whose canvas captured the spirit of competition for more than seven decades. Here's Leon Bibb. The tools of the artist are now bare of the hands that knew them well. For decades, these brushes and paints stroked creativity to canvas. But if a painter's tools somehow have memory, they will remember what they once had. He was created to be an artist, and, and, and he fulfilled that role and that purpose. In this house is the memory of lifelong Greater Clevelander Gary Thomas, the painter, the artist. For decades, Gary Thomas's work has filled the walls of the Browns and other sports franchises and halls of fame. I'm amazed that he did, you know, really so much, but he worked. I mean, he worked all the time. And, and I mean, it, I, it was, he didn't consider it work, actually. He just enjoyed it. Dolly Thomas met her artist husband during their college years. Today, she is a grieving widow. In their suburban Cleveland home, Gary's handprint is everywhere. He was the dominant artist for the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, painting the hall's inductees since 1963. In the early days, some family members touring the Hall of Fame were surprised. And the name underneath it was Gary Thomas. And I'm like, wow, this is my father and love doing all this work. Gary Thomas died last month at the age of 85, having painted nearly his entire life. At age 13, he copied Da Vinci's Mona Lisa. Syracuse University took notice and gave him a scholarship. His college roommate was football star Jim Brown, later destined to brush through opponents' lines for the Cleveland Browns, and a frequent subject paintbrushed on Thomas's canvas. And then when Jim Brown got drafted, drafted by, the, by Browns, the Browns, he came here, <laughs> and he knew Gary and you know and the family and all, but. Uh... And they just were friends. The friendship lasted. Other teams and companies took notice. What was not in private collections found a home in Gary Thomas's residence. It in itself houses a museum's collection. Well, I think it's important that people know who he was and that his artwork in different places. A sports fan, Thomas understood the grunt and grit of athletics. His paintings capture the action. The movement of the human body the muscles, you know, the bones. The artist's house is silent now. The studio sits as it was when the artist left the last time. For more than 40 years, in this one room, there was a painter's creativity. Today, there is a quiet reverence to what was. Is his spirit in this room? Yeah, I know he's looking down. Yep. A life well lived? A life well lived. What Gary Thomas took was the nothingness of a blank canvas and brought life to it with brush strokes begun in his creative mind. Although he passed on, his story lives. A storyteller who wrote in paint. For 3 News, I'm Leon Bibb.